Audio mixers can be an important part of any live show, but they're also delicate pieces of electronics. And when you have them in a grungy basement for too long, uh, bad things can happen to them. So today, we're going to be looking at a few mixers and seeing if we can fix the problems that they have because they don't work anymore. We're going to start with this one, which we got from Ginger's Bar. We're starting with this one because I know what the problem is, and then we can go from there. The problem is not actually anything to do with this mixer. This is the 2000s Audio AMX7321, a brand I have never heard of other than this. But it is a nice little thing. It does exactly what they need for the most part. The mixer itself shouldn't have any major problems. The actual issue is in the power cable. The issue seems to be that the end of the cable got messed up. And if we open it up, we can actually see that one of the power cables has completely gotten ripped off of the solder. Hopefully, all we have to do for this one is solder that back on, and uh, nothing bad will have happened to the board for being turned on without that. Uh, so let's find out. We're gonna take our soldering iron. I'm gonna just go onto the existing solder there, see if I can't loosen that up nicely okay and then i want to attempt here stick this back on a little extra solder stick it back not my favorite solder job that i've ever done but it is stuck in there pretty nicely so we're just gonna try it out see if the thing works at all right now it turns on which is good but it was doing that anyway, so I need to uh, plug in a mic and see if it'll um, do that properly. Because that is what the issue was. The thing would turn on just fine, but um, it would not get any signal from any of the inputs. Do 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 do. Yeah. Cool. See, now it's working. That's a whole lot better than it was. And we can turn it up. And now we can totally do anything we want. That's great news. Love to see it. And I got some headphones here. It's just to test that I'm hearing something come out. Superb. The only remaining issue with this one is that we lost a piece of the connection here that is really supposed to be used to keep this in place. So right now, I would not feel comfortable bringing this back to Ginger's and being like, yeah, use it, no problem, because uh, this is just gonna happen again. So I'm gonna have to think about that. If I can think of anything by the time this video comes out, it'll be a part of the video. So what I wound up doing is I just doused the whole thing with electrical tape and put a little sign not to remove. I made it so much that I don't think anyone could remove it unless they really, really try. Uh, which would undoubtedly break it anyway, so I think it should be good. The next mixer we're going to check out is the Behringer Xenix QX1202 USB. Uh, this mixer, as far as I know, was working just fine, but now has a quarter of it covered in some goo, probably from some type of drink. It could just be that there's goo in places that there shouldn't be, and so some of the knobs are a little messed up and they just need a little cleaning. But it could also be that uh, it's totally fried the inside. So this one doesn't seem to be in awful shape. I was just told that it wasn't working well. It seems like the first two channels are working just fine. Channel four is also pretty good. You can see it's coming in there. Um, channel three was super quiet, and I still need to test if uh, anything comes through on channel 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What I'm seeing mostly is if I kind of move this, it gives that scratchy thing. One of my headphones cuts out. Some of the knobs, if I turn, they get scratchy. So probably what it is, is I just need to clean it up and uh, give it some uh, grease. So we're just gonna start this thing off by taking off all the knobs and uh, Attempting to open it up so that we can at least clean off this front panel. These ones I believe can stay because the thing will just go over them. This stuff might just be connected to the front panel 
or it's also connected to the bottom in which we have to remove all of this stuff. I'd rather not have to remove every single one of these. And now we need to start uh, just getting some screws off. I'm going to be checking these to make sure that they're all the same size. Because if they're not, I'll need to know which one is which, where it goes. But so far, they all look like they're the same size, which is great news. I'm going to take off these side panels first using a regular old screwdriver. Obviously, these are different screws. Okay, not that simple, huh? Bottom slides out. Sides come off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we can see on the side that in fact everything on this top area is soldered to the bottom. It's a single board in here, which means we've got a little bit more work to do. Which I'm not pleased about, but it's fine. It's fine. We have a total of one, two, three, four different screw types. That's a little annoying. All right, we just gotta deal with the quarter inch jacks, which I don't have a great tool for. So I am using pliers. Not the best. Should probably get something, huh? There it is. There she blows. All right, so this obviously needs a cleaning. Uh, this area definitely needs some cleaning. And um, it looks like otherwise, it's just, uh, it's pretty clean. It just needs, uh, these, these knobs need a little love. All right, I'm gonna start simple, just using some Windex on big metal thing should be no problem okay now we can let this sit off to the side let it dry look at that it looks so much better now and we can deal with the board itself uh, now these guys are gonna be pretty tough to get to. So I'm actually gonna grab some cotton swabs and try to use that in here, see what that'll do. Okay, I got my cotton swabs and honestly, it looks like there's mold growing on this, which is super gross. I guess that's what happens, but yeesh. I'm putting Windex on a paper towel, wetting the cotton swab, and uh, I'm gonna go in here and rub with that concoction. Honestly doing a pretty good job. Oh, so gross. Oh, so gross. Typically, it's not water itself that will end up doing damage to a board. Um, obviously, if it's on and it gets water on it, there's a chance that it could um, connect some things that shouldn't be connected and, uh, you know, blow it up. But a lot of likely other things that happen are the water or whatever liquid will eventually rust and corrode solder points or stuff in the liquid like particles, sugar, um, whatever all else will actually do the uh, dirty deeds and corrode your connections. So, you know, I sprayed it with Windex, which I don't love doing, but it's honestly going to be better than not doing so because there are some crevices I can't quite get to and just a little bit of something there to clean up the mess that has been left is, you know, it's, it's something. It's better than nothing. These things are coming up black. Doing little extra passes through stuff to try to make sure that we get as much as we can. There's not a whole lot we can do with some of these spots. We would have to uh, desolder things off of the board um, to then clean up underneath. And I think that this board is in better shape than um, that is necessary. I think we've cleaned up what we can. Um, the rest of the board looks clean. There's nothing else going on here. It was really just that one area that the gunk was on top and went through. So I'm gonna check the bottom just to see if there's anything on the bottom that looks like, hmm, that's not good anymore. That needs to be re-soldered and, and fixed up. I don't think that I'm gonna find anything. Honestly, to me, nothing looks messed up down here. The next step 
is going to be just giving all of these knobs a little bit of lubrication. For the knobs and faders, I'm going to be spraying on some deoxit. Uh, this is technically four faders, not four knobs. So it's not quite the right thing, but it also is just fine. Um, there's really no issue with using this over the others. I'm going to start with the fader and just spray a little bit in there. And then sit here for a bit. Just go up and down, up and down. Now I'm going to attempt to do the same thing with each of the knobs. And these knobs don't really give us a whole lot of play. There's not a whole lot we can do with them. Um, but we're going to try anyway, because why not? Now, I know channel 3 was a problem, so I'm going to start there. And it's pretty much the same thing. Just spray, and then use the knob just a bunch of times. While this dries a little bit, I am going to just go off camera and wash these knobs, just so that they're also really clean. And by the time I'm done with that, hopefully this thing is good and we can test it out. All right, my knobs are cleaned up. My board is in pretty good shape. So I've turned it on. I'm going to test it out again. I need my uh, cheat sheet on what everything is. Well, I can hear that quite well. Uh, my pan is off kilter, so let's pan that center. And uh, that's still not great but it is better. So I might need to do one more pass at this thing. We are a little bit better. This is a little bit nicer sounding. And that's all the way down. So, yep, that's not too bad. That one's definitely improved. I'm also not hearing any scratching on any of the pots. So the one thing that we can do with this is basically just go over it again, because it's really the fader that's at fault. We could, of course, replace the fader, but I don't just have a fader on hand to replace it with, and we are in a bit of a rush here, so. Seems like adding a little more lubrication here worked pretty well. Um, so I think this thing is pretty good to go. I'm gonna now just put it back together. So we went from zero working mixers to two working mixers today, uh, spending zero dollars all through the power of repair. If this was helpful at all to you, let me know in the comments. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you think that you like videos like this, because we do them sometimes. I'll catch you next time. Bye.